So, the hot spot that used to be Friendly's is that is now a Taco Bell. My first time here since 2014 when it used to be Friendly's. When this was the Friendly's, I one time came here with both my dad and my mom the last full year I lived in this area to get not only get ice cream, but visit my friend who I went to Polaris with around that same time period, Miranda Carpet. It was so busy, herself included, that we just, I said I for like two seconds got my ice cream. I didn't go, I have, of course, vanilla, and we paid and got the fuck out. So, man goes to show you how old I am. And now again, nostalgia is one hell of a drug. Back in the day, back in the day when this was a friendly, it was it was way bigger than this. Definitely way bigger. Now with this thing, Taco Bell in, in my own present modern day, it's a lot smaller than it used to be, you know, what what you know, as in, you know, way smaller than its predecessor was. Definitely way smaller than its predecessor was back in the day when I, in my during my younger years. Not only when I lived in the Sandhurst house, uh, but you know, even when my grandparents lived in it, when the hot spot next to this Taco Bell, formerly Friendly's, was also a Denny's, which we're going to record another day. I mean, keep in mind this stuff is being recorded well in advance for the prepare, uh, we're already preparing for next. By the time you're seeing it's already next year. We're already preparing for next year's full-on documentaries. You know, a Sandhurst randomizer didn't be the first episode. I don't know what episode is going where. I don't know what episode, which episode is going where. I mean, what what clips are going where? Jesus, I'm having a stroke even in recording a documentary. But it, regardless, you're gonna. It, I don't know, but yeah. But back in hold on, wait. But regardless of what episode, all these yo recorded uh, clips in advance, you know, go, go in, are you know, are featured in. You're all gonna, you're all gonna see them all next year, and I'm really looking forward to that. And after we recorded the docu series, as I'm recording this is July 2023. I'm not wasting any time working on it. By the time you're seeing this next year, 2024, so. I'm really excited for it, so therefore come along with us as we, me and my dad will take you down Smith Road where an iconic, you know, hot spot used to be that unfortunately got, was abandoned for many, many years after the owner unfortunately passed away. But first, as we get out of the formerly Denny's, now Taco Bell, there's something I want to show you before we go to that iconic hot spot from my childhood. See this five guys right here that is here now? This used to be a Denny's way back in the day. And so I wanted to like, you know, educate you guys on the history of this place and you know, my time in this building when it was a Denny's. The food used to be really, really good here. It was awesome. And then of course, you know, we had a little bit of an incident with my grandfather called the Eggy Ketchup. Like right before we left the Lenore house to come back to Ohio with our family to take over the R, the now iconic Sanders house in Brook Park. But it was horrible looking inside. It was all messy. I mean, Oh, but it was like older and dirt all that shit but luckily with them turning it into something different especially like a modern day place like five guys i bet you it looks way nicer now next time we come through here for lunch we're definitely gonna try this out to see what it's like compared to the one close to us in avon by where we live now that ladies and gentlemen is the history of the now current modern present day five guys and taco bell that used to be friendlies and denny's